Hey guys, Ray from uh, LoveYourRV.com here again and uh, just doing a little bit of driveway surfing in my uh, sister's driveway here in Victoria. We're uh, preparing the rig for uh, our annual snowbird trek down south, getting things ready and I'm doing an upgrade today to the, the front kingpin. You can see we have a standard run-of-the-mill kingpin on our Cougar and uh, Lipper Components has sent me out one of their new Flex Air Kingpins to try out. Check it out on our journey south, see how it smooths out the rig. So I'm going to be, today I'm going to be installing that, swapping out the old for the, the fancy new Kingpin. Uh, it has all kinds of features on it, a rubber inflatable bag, airbag on it, uh, oil shock, a thick rubber buffer, tiltable, tiltable uh, kingpin so it's going to be pretty cool so I've got myself uh, the hitch their new hitch came on a, a packing crate there I got it wheeled up on a on a dolly but also uh, from my days in TV repair I've got this uh, really neat lift table so it's going to come in really handy to uh, mount that hitch I mean the kingpin kingpin weighs in about 225 pounds so that's a little uh, a little heavy for me so, so I don't ruin my back, I'm going to use my uh, old lift table here. It's just a pump-up hydraulic lift table. So let's see the tools I'm going to need to do the job. It's quite a straightforward swap. There's about eight bolts I'm going to have to undo. That's, here's an example of one here. It's a 5 8 bolt with a 15 16 head on it. So I've got my torque wrench. I've got a 15 16 socket for it. Uh, tape measure to measure the height of the the kingpin and just a big long 15 16 wrench so that I can uh, undo the, the old one tighten up the new one so I'm gonna undo the old one you can see each side has four big bolts and I'm also gonna have to take off this uh, this is my breakaway switch for my brakes in case of emergency this gets attached to your hitch in your truck. If you if you ever come separated, it'll throw on the brakes in the rig. So it seems to have been uh, mounted on the the old kingpin. Um, I'll just have to undo that and mount it somewhere else. So let me get to work taking that old one off. So I'm just taking a measurement of the kingpin to the ground right now, so that when I put the new kingpin on. Uh, I can try to get it as close as possible so I I stay with the same uh, level on my truck, same distance from my uh, my uh, bed boards there. And so I'm like around 31. I've got the fifth wheel jacked down really low. I'm kind of in a sloped driveway so it kind of makes it nice. I don't have to actually lift the, the hitch up too high on the lift table so it'll make it easy for me. There we go, old one off. That is actually very easy, especially if you have the right tools. So a long, nice long torque wrench and a good heavy wrench on the other side is pretty easy to get those uh, bolts off. It's a lot harder if you're trying to do it with tiny wrenches. So there we go. And then I've just, it was very easy just to roll the, the new uh, Flex Air pin box without even lifting it onto my hydraulic cart it makes it a lot easier I'd say if you're installing this and you have if you have no way of uh, jacking it up you might be able to use the the tailgate on your uh, truck to back it in but uh, if you take it to an RV service center it's probably pretty cheap it's a pretty quick job they they likely use a forklift or something and just go zit zit with air tools so but I like to do everything myself. So here we go. Pin box is all ready to receive it there. So I'll jack her up. It'll be easy for me to uh, mount it in place. So sweet. Oh, I gotta like that. So I've uh, jacked it up on the table and uh, lined pretty well the, the same holes. And um, I'm about one half inch lower, which isn't too bad. I have a lot of clearance on my truck, so we'll try that. I can always adjust it later. Boy, I'm sure glad uh, 
I kept that that hydraulic lift table. I was going to sell it when we left to go uh, full time in the RV. Like I said, I used to be a TV repair guy and used this to lift those. I don't know if you remember those old heavy projection TVs. They're about 400 pounds. I used this when I was working on those old TVs to bring them up off the floor and and work on them. So I gave it to my brother-in-law. So uh, he hung on to it. Sure glad I got it. Okay, so next step, I'm going to put those uh, bolts back in place. Um, I, did, I got the Lippard manual for installing the, the trail. This is a trail air, flex air, hitch, or a kingpin. And uh, they suggested to reuse the, the original bolts if they're in good condition. And these are in excellent condition, so I'm just going to reuse those. Uh, I kind of looked around online for the torque settings. It was in the, the Lippard uh, install manual as well to put it at about 160 pounds torque on each bolt. So that's what I'm going to do, follow their guidelines. So I get to do that. Put her up in place there. Should be easy now because I can actually move it around quite easy. Get those bolts in. Once I got it bolted in place, it seemed to be still a bit low. So what I've done is I've moved it up one notch from the, the factory setting of my last uh, pin box so that uh, I'm just about exactly the same height as before. My, uh, my uh, receiver thing here has one inch holes. And so I've put the, the breakaway switch back here a little bit further back but it won't make any difference and so now I'm going to uh, test out the the airbag it comes deflated and what you're supposed to do is put it on your truck and uh, there's a pair of arrows here and you want to add air until you you reach the the markings where it says uh, you're you've set it at the right height uh, I'm not gonna put it on the truck yet so I'm just gonna do a test here I got a little small air compressor We'll see if she can fill. Okay, that seems to be working. We got the airbag inflated. And once I get it on the truck, when we're ready to leave, I'll uh, adjust it one more time. I just used the, the hydraulic lift here to, to simulate the truck, just to test it. There we go, all installed and ready to roll. So this is sort of part one of my review of the Flex Air pin box by Lippard Components. Uh, in the next uh, blog post I'll be showing the pin box in action. We're getting ready to uh, about four or five days from now we're gonna board the ferry to Port Angeles. Be interested when I go on and off the ferry how it reacts because it's quite the lump on and off. And then we're gonna head down the Oregon coast. Lots of windy roads, lots of dips occasional construction and rough roads and then we're going to cross into California over the mountains and we usually run down I-5 or Highway 99 through Sacramento and Stockton and that's where I'm really curious how this is going to perform because the freeways down there are always beat up by all the heavy truck traffic so you get lots of construction lots of uh, lots of lumps and uh, rough rough roads and a lot of the bridges down there with the trucks hitting them, they have uh, huge uh, kind of seams when you hit them and it's, and it's quite the jolt 
when you hit the bridges and when you leave the bridges. So uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be super interesting, but uh, it's got to be better than what was there, which was just a solid piece of steel. So until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers!